This video is sponsored by DeWalt. Hey guys, so the way I check my grades to figure my concrete on my concrete floors is, you know, we, I show up to a job like this, it's all prepped and ready to go. All we need to do is pour and finish the concrete. So I just need to check the thickness so I know how much concrete to order. So all I do is I'll set my laser up. Self-leveling laser here is the key. Makes things really fast. And I'm really, really liking this one. This, this new one I got from DeWalt, this one's really nice. But basically, I just set that on there. Fasten it down tight. Hit the on button and it's going to self-level itself. And it won't spin if it's not level. As soon as it's level, it starts spinning. It only takes a few seconds. See that right there? Alright, so there's my level beam. Now all I need to do is I'll take the receiver here. Put that on my grade stick. Benchmark I'm going by is the top of the concrete wall. So that's top of concrete floor right there. So I'm gonna, you know, when we go pour the floor, we're gonna we're gonna level the floor all the way around to the top of this concrete wall. So I turn my receiver on. I want to find the laser beam, and I can use the numbers on my stick to go by. Okay, let's turn it this way. All right, so I'm looking for the solid, the solid line across there. That that's the number I'm looking for. So I'll just find that by moving the receiver up and down. The arrows tell me if I need to go up a little bit or down. When I find that solid beam like that, then I screw the receiver right to the grade stick. And that's the grade I want to be at right there. So, with the numbers, you can see the numbers right there. I'm at about 39, 38, 37 and three quarters. 37 and three quarters is my top of concrete floor. So now I can use that and I can go around and just check the thickness. I can check it a couple ways. I can use a tape measure and just hold this up off the styrofoam like this until I get my solid beep and then I know how thick I am. Then I can go around and I can check the whole floor like that. I'll go around and I'll just check the whole floor, then I'll take an average of all my shots I'm getting. And then I can use that to figure the concrete. If, but I need to know the thickness. I need to know the average thickness of this. That's the most important thing. Then obviously the square footage is really important. And then you can just figure your concrete yardage that way. All right, so once I know my average thickness, then I just need to get my dimensions. I usually just measure these. I usually measure outside dimensions. 25 right to there. That way, that way it gives me a little bit on the extra side of the concrete. So that's 28. So 28, this section is 28 by call it 13, 28 by 13. That's 28 and four is 32. So that's 30, 36 that way. Sometimes I can just count the panels too because those are two foot panels. 
So you can just go, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 that way. That gives me 36 this way and 26 this way. So 36 by 26 and then 28 by 13 is what I'll use. So once I know the square footage, 36 by 26 equals 936. 28 by 13 equals 364. 364 plus 936 equals 1300 total square feet. And I divide that by 81 for four inches. Divided by 81 equals about 16 yards right on the money. So 16 yards of concrete. And that's with a little bit of extra because everything's measured by outside dimensions on these walls. So I should be, well, I got these two little deeper spots here. I'll probably get 16 and a half yards for this. That's how I figure my concrete. All right, take, to take this down, put it away, I just turn it off. Unscrew it from the base, the tripod like that. And it fits really nicely right inside like that. Make sure I turn the receiver off. Take it off the stick. Receiver fits really nicely right in that slot right there. See that? Fits nice and tight right there. Close it up, zip it up. That's it, ready to go. First of all, I really like that DeWalt laser. That's lightweight, easy to set up, it's fast, very easy to learn how to use. I highly recommend that. I'll have a link for that down in the description. So the owner's, the owner's solution to fixing the thickness problem was for us to tap con a board on the outside of the foundation and raise it up two inches above the top of that concrete wall. So that gets us about, you know, a three and a half to four inch concrete floor, which is what they wanted. Now it was, it was like, you know, they graded the subgrade, the dirt for a four inch concrete floor without taking into consideration there was gonna be two inches of styrofoam laid on top of it. So the subgrade of the dirt really should have been down six inches from top of concrete wall and not four inches. And then, you know, when the heating guy comes in, lays two inches of styrofoam down, puts down his radiant heat tubes, he should kind of see there's a problem there and maybe notify somebody that, hey, these guys didn't grade it right, they need to come back and take two inches out if we're gonna match top of that concrete wall. But the easy fix was, you know, hey, it's okay if the concrete floor is a little bit higher. So we'll just raise it up a little bit. And that keeps us from having to pull all that styrofoam and radiant heat out. So that's what we did. Piece of cake, problem solved. We were in here pouring the floor. Now, if you want to see us pouring this floor, I'll leave a link for this video down in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.